everyone, Jodie here again from Kavala Health. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate seven gentle yoga poses that's gonna help you with menopause. So if you don't have a yoga bolster like me, you can use a couple of blankets and just roll them up or fold them up so you can lay your spine and your head over it. So I'll demonstrate in a moment. Or a couple of cushions under your back and just have your chest a little bit more elevated. So this is a nice gentle practice. I really want you to focus on your breathing, enjoy it. So let's begin. So we're gonna lie our back over the bolster. You can have your legs straight. I'm gonna move into butterfly leg. So just to really help open around the hips. So just gently take your head back. Maybe you need a little cushion under your head a little more too to relax your neck, arms to the side. Move our shoulder blades down our back. And if you're not comfortable in this butterfly leg, you can just go into straight legs. Just tune into your natural breathing now. Breathing into your back. Breathing into your whole body. It's gentle, even breaths now. Through the nose only. Just check in with your physical body, check if you feel comfortable so we can be still. Reclining butterflies. When you're ready, start to breathe a little bit more into the hips, belly softening more. Feel the lower belly expanding. And gently flow up into your chest, neck, face and soften. will help you open around the heart, the hips, bringing you a little bit more coolness and calmness to help with menopause symptoms. So in this practice, I want you to focus on the breathing, just in and out, through the nose, close your mouth, allow the whole body to relax and release. a moment to scan the whole body, noticing where you are holding your tension and tightness. I want you to breathe into those spaces a little more. Inhale, softness. Breathing in more space. Whole body relaxing. Stay here. A couple more breaths, preparing. When you're ready, we're going to bring the legs up. You're gonna roll over to your side. Coming up slowly. Now you can just move your prop out the way. Now we're gonna go into cat and cow, so you may want to have your knees padded. If you've got sensitive knees, pat under them. Just have our knees and feet about hip width, hands under the shoulders. Spread your fingers. It's a great pose to warm up the whole body, especially the spine. On the exhale, we're gonna lift our upper back, spreading upper back, chin in, tailbone tucking under. Breathing in, opening into a gentle back bend. Cow, looking forward to look up. Breathing out, moving into the cat. Press the hands, grounding. Inhale, cow. Even if you are short of time, maybe just try cat and cows. Just do this one. Do 20, 30 rounds, whatever time you have. Doing something is better than doing nothing, just to help you. So keep continuing with the breathing. Exhale, cat, belly slightly in. Breathing in, opening cow. Exhaling cow. Inhale cow, shoulders away from ears. Breathing into the whole spine. Couple more rounds. Anytime you can pause this video and do more of one movement, one pose. 
we're going to finish with the cow, the back bend. So come back to neutral spine. We're going to work in some lunges now. I'm going to step my right foot in front. Have your ankle in front of the knee. So behind the knees, nice and open. You might want to pad the back knee, the left knee. So depending on how you are there in your knees. Let's take the arms under the shoulders, fingers really light, and just start to move down with your hips. What I've noticed with menopause, I've definitely got tighter in my hips. Even if I teach yoga, I've still become a little bit tighter, or especially if I do more walks. So just coming down with your hips, you might want to do a nice little movement side to side with your hips, maybe some circles. That feels good for the hips, just take it easy. Slowing down, go both ways with your circles. Really focus on your breathing. You can close your eyes, relax. Be in your body, be present. Holding. Lunges are great hip opening for heart release your lower back. Now I'm going to come out of this and change sides. So slowly bring that leg back. Step the left foot in front. So just have your ankle in front of the knee, keep behind the knee a little bit more open. Maybe patting the back knee. Try be really light with your fingers. Use your props if you need to under your hands. Exhale, sinking deeper. Just go where you're comfortable. Feel that little bit of resistance in the hamstring hip. Breathe into it, expand and soften. Again, we can just do little circles or rocking side to side with our hips. What's going to feel good for your hips when you get onto the mat? Focus on your breathing. Really trust your breath in your practice, opening up more. So all these poses will help you de-stress a little more if you're getting a little bit frustrated, irritated or, you know, a bit moody. These poses I'm demonstrating in this video are very good for all that. And it's holding now. Breathing. We're going to come out of this. I'm going to move into Sphinx pose. So just take it easy. We're going to come all the way down onto our front. Let's move my bolster up. So let's come up onto the elbows. Have your elbows under your shoulders. Hands just pressing down on the ground. Spread the fingers. You can have your legs about hip width. Press down the top of the feet. Just look slightly forwards and down. You feel a gentle contraction in your lower back. Working on our kidneys here. So maybe close your eyes, relax the chin slightly in. So we lengthen out through the crown of the head. Focusing on your breathing. If you get a little tired, just come all the way down with your forehead to the ground. The rest of you just stay up a little bit longer. Working on our adrenal glands here, kidneys, strengthening your lower back, giving us a little bit more energy to working with this pose. So I'm just going to demonstrate it once and then we're going to slowly come up into wide knee child. So just take your time. Come up now. This is where you'll need your blankets again, so I'll just grab my bolster. So, we're going to go a little bit wider. So, if you do have sensitive knees, remember put something under the knees behind the knee joint if they're very tight, blankets, cushions under the front ankles if you're tight there. So, you go as wide as you feel comfortable. I'm going to put my bolster or your blanket cushions in front, and we're going to lie completely down over the props. You can rest on your forehead. You can turn your head to the side, relax your arms wide, bent. So we relax our shoulders and neck. I want you to be comfortable. So I'm just going to rest on the forehead. I want you to breathe into the hip, breathe into your lower back. I'm going to sit up so you can hear me a little clearer. So just adjust yourself. If you have your head to one side, just move your head to the other side. If you're still not comfortable in the hips, just prop your hips up a little bit more. So as long as you feel comfortable, you just to make an adjustment, cool down, calming and clearing our mind. So 
again, you might want to stay there a little longer. You can put me on pause. Oh, we're going to come up now. We're going to still use our props. Just keep it where it is. And we're going to move into the deer pose. So we're going to have our props right in the side of the hip here and legs bent. So you can just move your feet a little bit further away to make it more comfortable for you. So I'm going to turn my chest to face over my props, the hands either side of your mat. And just gently fold so your chest is coming over the mat, over your bolster I should say. Turn the head to the side, relax your shoulders and neck, go wider with your arms if you need to. As you breathe into the hip area around the lower back, relax. Stay connected with your breathing to help de-stress your body and mind. Feel your back expanding with every breath. When you breathe out, just let go of any worries, stress, all that negative energy. Let it go on the exhale. Letting go. Let go. We're going to slowly come out of that. Again, stay there longer. So I'm just demonstrating these yoga poses for menopause. So I'm going to swivel myself around and put my bolster the other way. So I'm still facing you. So I'm lining my bolster or your blankets and cushions to the side of the hip. And just take my feet a little bit further away from my hips. So you get as comfortable as you can. Then I'm turning myself to face over the bolster. So either hands either side are going to be wired. We're going to try and relax your shoulders away from your ears. So I'm turning. So my chest is going to face over my bolster, head down. So generally I'm going to turn my head to the side, but I've got my earpiece on. So I'm just going to rest on my forehead. I want you to breathe into that lower back, into the hip area. Feel your body expanding and opening with your inhale. A gentle twist. Letting go. Use your breath to cool you down, calm your mind. We're going to come up really slowly. Use your hands. Slowly, slowly come up. So we've got one more pose to demonstrate. A forward bend or you can do legs up the walls. So obviously I don't have a wall here. So I'm going to turn my bolster around and I'm going to put my bolster under my legs. So right under the legs so the legs stay bent and this is really safe for you if your lower back is a little bit sensitive or you're really tight. Just propping some cushions, blankets under the legs and they stay bent. You can go about hip width with your legs, relax our shoulders. And when you're ready, we're just going to lean forward. Take your time. A nice, gentle, deep forward bend. I'm just going to relax my arms over my bolster. Have my palms up to relax more. Tuck my chin in and just easy, gently, and very mindfully come down. So we're going to soothe our back with this pose. Open the back of the hip, hamstring. All four bends are very cooling and calming for our mind and body. You know, with menopause, I get you know, hot flushes. So this is a good way to just help calm down a little bit more and cool down. Just take your time. Legs can be wide. Arms can be wide. Be gentle. Be accepting. Being a little more compassionate with yourself. Letting go. Deep breath into your body. This feels good for you. You can stay here longer. Or coming up. 
I'm just going to go through a little meditation with you. So you're welcome to stay there. Or if you're near a wall, put your legs up on the wall, legs up on a chair. Legs up the wall is a really good pose, especially for our circulation, to improve our circulation during menopause. Also good to help balance our hormones. So if you do have a wall or chair, try and elevate the legs every day will help you. So just be comfortable sitting, lying, close your eyes for a moment. Connect back with your breathing. Think of your breath like a golden key to help unlock mind, body and heart, to help heal mind, body and heart space. Letting go, surrendering, being present, be accepting now where you are right now. Feeling those changes in your body and mind without analyzing, just be aware. Feeling that shift. Know you can always come back to this peace, place of peace and calmness anytime. Just connect back with your breath, close your eyes. to come out just start to breathe a little deeper stay still or make some gentle stretches movements maybe start with your fingers toes maybe moving your head just mindfully moving have you in the lying position just bend the legs and roll over to your side Keeping your eyes closed and then either with the eyes open or closed gently push up from the side to a seated position to close this practice the hands can be one over the other in front of your heart or together connect with your heart space and just either be silent or quietly reflect on a little gratitude giving yourself thanks for being on the map working on more self-care Namaste. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I'd love to hear from you all and hope you learned some new moves that will help you with your menopause. Bye.